Hey guys, Silent Sail here. Welcome back to another Utah Macross update video. As of today, it is the 16th of July 2021. I'm sure most of you guys have already probably updated the game and are wondering what the developers have actually changed within the game itself, especially for those of you who can't read Japanese. So that's what this video is for and let's talk about what is brand new in version 5.0.0 So I'm sure some of you guys who are familiar with the game already especially for those of you who have been playing the game as long as I have for four years now um, you probably have stopped bothering with the diva um, proficiency no I wouldn't say proficiency more like um, diva's affection level yes that's the correct term <laughs> It's been a while since I used the term because um, it's been a while since I've actually needed to level up any of the Diva's affection levels. If you guys do not know what the affection levels are, um, technically I think I have not made a video on it. I think I have not. Maybe I have. If it's somewhere in the tutorial playlist, uh, let me um, know in the comment section down below if I actually have already made one. If I have not, please remind me in the comments down below to make one talking about the Diva's affection levels and of course, you know, the uh, terms that you need to be familiarized with when they are asking for gifts and all that kind of stuff. So let's talk about Diva affection uh, levels first. So that's what this right triangle on the main home screen is for. So for those of you who has not watched the other tutorials on the previous updates, you probably won't know this tab exists or what it's used for aside from changing the divas on your home screen. Um, so yeah, so gifts, if you tap this, the pink um, chocolate box or rather blue icon <laughs> heart chocolate box um, with the ribbon it, it basically says GIF in uh, hiragana right there so you can see that Makina's affection level is previously kept at level 50 it has now been increased um, max level is now level 60 if I'm not wrong um, so yeah so basically, you can give any of these gifts um, that Makina is requesting, as you can tell from this text bubble here. Um, you know, she will probably ask you certain criteria um, for the specific gift, and you can just give her. So yeah, she's looking for tabemono, so it's a kind of food. So Makina, Makina's favorite item is actually the Valkyrie, cause she is. Um, from a family of mechanics. So sadly to say, food item will not get that special boost in uh, faction levels um, if you give them the correct gift. So in these kind of cases, for myself, since I'm a subscriber of the special pass, we will actually attain this gift, which is the premium gift. Uh, it works for any diva and no matter what they are requesting, you will always get that double affection level points. So I'm going to give this to her. There we go. So there it is. Just an example for you guys who are, you know, um, trying to recollect on what diva affection levels are. Uh, if you guys want to know more about diva affection levels, uh, help me go check out the tutorial playlist. See if I've actually done a video on it. Uh, in my mind, it's still a blur whether I've actually made it or not. <laughs> I have a feeling I did not. But, you know, go check it out for me. Let me know in the comment section down below if I should be making one for Diva Affections um, and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> remind me. Please remind me nicely. Don't be mean. <laughs> Anyways, yes, so... Uh, Diva affection levels caps have been increased so it's no longer level 50 it's now level 60 so if you're wondering what the Diva affections are for they actually play a pretty good um, part in terms of high scores as well so yes always try to get your Divas to the max level I'm gonna click the information here just to make sure 
Okay, let's see. Um, Diva Affections. Did they mention the level cap here? Oh yeah, there it is. So it's level 60. So yeah. <laughs> okay, I was right. Level 60 is now the new max cap. Um, so guys, um, for all of us who have been collecting the presents, I'm sure you probably should have been still be buying the affection gifts from the chaos exchange here if you guys have not been doing so let me just give you a reminder under the uc exchange you can purchase all these every month every time it goes into the new month you can purchase all these gifts which you can give to the divas um to increase their affection levels towards you you know so i hope you have been buying them i have at least so yeah it can be a problem when there's no one reminding you. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so that's the affection level. So we're going to talk about one other thing that they have actually changed. Um, so it's regarding the skills on the episode plates. So they have kind of um, simplified, I would say. Um, Utam across life skills. So there we go. So if you notice the life skills now, especially when it comes to improving in high score, um, they've in, they've just changed the um, the way they've I, don't know, I would call it list out the effects of the life skills with the triangles. So this one is a bit complicated. Um, so we're gonna go. I don't know if the notifications here will have it. If not. I'll probably switch over to the wiki page um, for a moment. So let's just check the information here because it is a bit complicated to explain. So that is a problem. So it seems like it's not there. Let's see, is there a shortcut to the wiki page? Mm. <laughs> seems like there isn't. Oh boy. Uh, okay, let's see. Um, can we? There is no link to the wiki page. All right, so I will jump to the wiki page right here. Okay, so we are now on the wiki page, um, and we're taking a look at the skills summarization right here. So it can get a bit complicated in terms of how they've categorized it. Um, so I'm just gonna try and simplify them for you. So, okay. Right here, they've mentioned that score and damage improvement, score repeat improvement, they have changed the icons to a large triangle and a diamond. So, yeah, if you guys are not familiar with what effects I've been mentioning here it can get a bit confusing basically they just categorize all the different um, scoring abilities into two categories so I'm gonna just mention what they are so basically short duration score skills are replaced with the large black triangle here Reactivating score abilities are re replaced with the tiny black diamond right here. So if you can see, these are technically all the repeating abilities um, with score effects. You know, they're all under the score um, improvement. You know, that with the diamond shape right there. I hope I hope this makes sense to some of you, because <laughs> it can get confusing because there are a lot of skills that um, you know are short duration abilities and you can tell from this whole bunch of list here so score up score up ex score up and damage combo a plus score a you know then do the damage shield plus score a you know these abilities below here we rarely see nowadays these are mostly on episode plates that are much older uh, and they aren't exactly meta skills, so you shouldn't really be bothering about those. But I just had to break it down to you. Um, 
short duration songs look for the big uh, big fat black triangle um, for repetitive effects look for the diamond shaped ones so yeah that's basically the new categorization between the life skills I hope that makes sense it's gonna take a while to get used to uh, them again especially for myself <laughs> since I'm making videos on Uthaib Across I myself had to discipline myself to get it memorized so that you guys uh, have an easier time understanding the game in the future. <laughs> so let's jump back into Utama Cross and let's see the one, the one other last thing that they've changed, which is pretty great. Okay, we are back on Utama Cross itself, and from here on, I'm gonna have to reduce the game volume because um, we are diving into the live section, and of course, when music is concerned copyright issues come about especially for any social media platform nowadays sadly to say so let's dive into the live page we're gonna talk about the units um, saving list I, I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with it especially for those of you who are newer to the game um, usually when you set up a diva team like so you feel lazy to try and reconstruct this entire um, build. Let's say for example, um, you might want to save your diva setup under a list. So if you tap this, it says unit set. So this is where they have improved um, the game for us, which is fantastic because previously they only gave us 10 sets to save on. But now if you scroll all the way down, they have increased it to 15 so we've got extra 5 slots which is fantastic so you don't really have to keep reusing um, certain sets that you don't want to erase because you want to keep them around for specific events I hope <laughs> increasing the unit sets does not mean that Utame Cross is going to get a bit more complicated um, in the future with more different varieties of events right now we are currently facing um, four different kinds of events already um, per month or technically it's five because the last event of the month usually rotate between each other um, so technically it's five different kinds of event play styles and unit sets are pretty important especially for myself who've been playing this game for four years now and I'm sure most of you who have been playing as long as I have will know how important these unit sets are so my set 2 to set let's see 1 2 3 4 5 6 so technically I have 6 sets which um, feature my diva Efficiency or yeah, diva, diva proficiency levels. So whenever they come out with a new song, um, I usually level all my divas to proficiency level three minimum. Um, you know, like in my past tutorials when I thought about um, diva proficiency and how important it is to unlocking the divas proficiency to help you improve your high score and of course. Uh, unlocking the potentials of your divas um, to perform better in you know every song out there there is so it's always good to have a permanent uh, permanent set of unit sets for a particular event so the ones that I usually you know save over most of the time is like the first one here which is used for like the current team that I'm using for maybe events that don't need to switch teams that often because they are using songs that I've already have my divas um, gone past the proficiency level of level 3 um, so yeah and of course I have teams for different song series so like the yellow series the blue series the pink series especially if you're trying to break brand new high scores for a particular song so you want to set up diva teams that can really give you those very good high scores um, you know to improve your diva 
uh, no, not, not, not Diva, I mean, your own personal Uta rank. <laughs> so hopefully all these terms make sense to you guys because if they don't, you really need to go ahead and watch through all my tutorial playlists. I know certain tutorials are kind of missing here and there because um, I don't really have a lot of time, uh, especially with a full-time job. So I hope you guys pardon me on that. I, I, I know technically I'm the only English YouTuber out, do, out there that does tutorial videos on this game. Um, so I'm trying my best. I'm really trying my best. Uh, to provide information to you guys um, so it really does uh, help me out to know that you guys appreciate the content you know by liking sharing subscribing you know all the, not all the usual stuff from youtubers that you hear so it's nice that they're giving us five extra slots um, you know to save our diva setups you know for events uh, that are coming out or currently still in the game you know who knows I'm, I'm a bit scared of what Dana is going to release for us uh, this coming month end when they announce all the new updates for the 4th anniversary of Uta Macross uh, so yeah guys make sure you mark your calendars um, for that live stream that's coming out on um, the official Macross channel um, sadly to say, I've got work that day, so I won't be able to live stream the event alongside with the actual stream to translate things, but I will probably do um, a video later on, hopefully, if I can get a recording of that live stream, um, so I can do my own translation works for you guys uh, later on. So yeah guys, as usual, let me know your thoughts on version 5.0.0 what do you guys think of all the improvements with this maintenance update um, down below in the comment section of course remind me if I've not made any uh, tutorial videos and all that kind of stuff like share subscribe as usual and I'll see you guys in the next Utame Cross video until then bye